Alright everyone, so what I'm doing today is I'm down at Ewanmatic Dam on the Sunshine Coast and what I'm going to be doing is trying to catch a legal bass that I can show you how to catch, cook and eat. Now these bass, they've been a bit elusive lately. I've been trying to do a catch and cook for you guys, but it hasn't been working. So what I've got today, 2.5 inch motor oil slim swim with a size 1 jig spinner attached and hopefully I'll be able to pick up a nice bass either off the bank or out of the kayak for you guys. Now what I like to do is I like to cast out right near the weed edges, let it sink down to the bottom, slow roll it back in, and hopefully I'll be able to pick up a nice sized bass. Now there is bass in this dam that would be over 60 centimeters. Legal limit for these guys is 30 centimeters long, so if we can catch anything near that, I'll be extremely happy. Now Ewanmatic Dam is one of the best bass fishing dams in the Sunshine Coast, so hopefully I'll be able to pick up a nice one for you guys. So if I do manage to catch a bass, I'm gonna be cooking it up in a fish curry. Now I've never tried bass before, and I'm really excited to see how it tastes. Let's start casting. Let's get into it. As you just saw in that drone footage, there's a huge bushfire just over there. It's been raging for about a day or two, and I didn't even know I'd be able to get footage of it, but that's pretty cool. I think we're gonna land it now and keep fishing. There we go. That's not a, oh, you're joking. Yeah, you spotted it. That was a good fish. There we go. Oh no, no, no. That's a good fish. Next cast. Don't bust me off, mate. Take a look at that. This is a solid bass, I think. Oh, that's a nice bass. Oh, as soon as I got it in the net, it came off. And that's a legal bass too. That's not a bad bass at all. He'd be in the 30s for sure. 33 to the fork, 35 to the end. That's a solid bass. Now the thing is, I've never eaten a bass before and I don't really like taking bass or anything, but I'm pretty interested to see how they taste. And this one does look pretty tasty. It'll have some nice big fillets on them. It's quite a fat bass, as you can see, been feeding up well. But yeah, that's a nice bass right there that I'm gonna show you how to cook up tomorrow morning. But for now, I'm gonna keep fishing because I reckon there might be a school of bass just sitting up in there or something. Beautiful specimen of an Aussie bass right there. After fishing for Australian bass all afternoon, as the day turned to night, I started to use my TM Co Softshell Cicada to hopefully catch some bass off the surface. So just as it got dark, chucked on the cicada, managed to catch this little bass. We're obviously gonna release him. Just thought I'd show you that they do come out and target surface at night. I didn't even move this little cicada and he came up and smashed it. There he goes. All right, everyone, so as you just saw, we went out into Ewanmatic Dam, caught a massive bass, and now we've got it back here. And as you can see, we got him, we put him in the freezer overnight, and today we're gonna cook him, and that's a pretty solid bass. I did feel bad for taking it, but there's tens of thousands of bass in that dam, so taking one won't hurt the population at all. Now, what I'm gonna be making with this bass, I'm gonna take a fillet off of him and make a curry bass curry, I'm not sure how it's gonna taste or anything. Never even tried bass before. So these are all the ingredients that I got right here. We got the curry paste, onion, is that cheese? Garlic. Garlic, kaffir lime leaves, capsicum, broccoli, peas, brown sugar, shallots, and coriander. So that's all the ingredients. We got some oil, we got the gas mate cooker down here, and some fish sauce, coconut milk, and we're gonna be doing a big catch and cook today. This is the biggest catch and cook I've ever done, so hopefully it turns out really good. But yeah, first off, we're gonna to have to fill up this fish, take some nice fillets off of him. It's still a bit frozen, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but you know, we'll try our best. First off, we're gonna scale this bass. They don't have very big scales, but they've got a lot of them. It'd obviously be easier if this bass wasn't frozen. So we got an actual scaler now, hopefully that's a bit quicker. 
all right? That's both sides scaled, so what I'll do now, I haven't filleted a bass before, but I'm just guessing it's the same as most other fish. I'm gonna make a cut down here, running along the backbone. It's actually much easier that the fish is frozen. Right down to the end, then I'll make another cut, just down to the end here. Just like that. I'll start from the end and then just try to get as much meat off this fillet as possible. Right, so there's one fillet. Got 90% of the meat off there. So I'll put that one there just for now. And the bones are just here, just so we don't have to worry about them later. Perfect. And that is a nice Australian bass fillet right there. That's off a 35 centimeter bass, so that's a pretty solid fillet. So then we'll turn it over, do the exact same thing to the other side. That's what you gotta watch out for with the bass. They got spikes. That's the two fillets that we got off this 36 centimeter bass. And they're pretty nice fillets actually. They're gonna taste really good. So we're gonna actually start making the curry now. It's getting a bit late, but yeah, I'm really excited to see how these taste. So we're gonna cut this fish up into little strips, just like that. Since it's gonna be in the curry, we're not gonna put the whole fillet in. So just little strips like that. We finally got a sharp knife. It's actually a lot of meat on that bass. So there we go, that's all the fish strips now. Now we've got to make the curry. So we're just going to put a little bit of macadamia oil in. Perfect. Then we got the Thai green curry paste or something like that. And we'll put that in, stir it around until it gets to a nice texture. So what you need to do, what you need to do, you just smash it down and it will get a better texture or something like that. I'm going to add in the onion. So we gotta let this sit for three to five minutes and then it should be good. We can add the next ingredients. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put the fish in and cook that for only about one minute until we add the next ingredients. So we'll chuck all these little bass fillets in. It's so good. All right, so what we're gonna do now, coconut milk. Why is it solid? So we're gonna add this whole thing in. So the secret ingredient, kaffir lime leaves or something like that, but yeah. Apparently they make the curry taste good. So we're gonna put them in. So we're gonna chuck the capsicum in, broccoli, and then we'll mix it up a bit. Right, so now we're gonna add the brown sugar around like that. Three drops of fish sauce. One, two, three. Oh yeah, we got it. Then we're gonna put this lid back on and at the very end when there's about two minutes to go, we'll chuck these peas in and they don't take basically any time to cook. So, and then that's pretty much it actually. We've done that whole curry and it smells really good. I'm really excited to taste it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add the peas in. They only take about one minute to cook since they're so small. We're gonna mix it up a bit and then it will be done. So. It's actually looking pretty good now. You can see that's the uh, bass right there, peas, those random leaves that we added in. We just finished this whole curry-like thing. We're gonna scoop it into the bowls. It actually does smell very good. I'm excited to taste the bass, so yeah, let's give it a bit of a taste test. All right, so first I'm gonna try this curry-like thing and see how that tastes. So it's very tasty, but it's a bit spicy. So I'd recommend adding a bit less of that curry paste like thing. But yeah, it's actually really good. And now for the Australian bass that we caught in the dam, I'm gonna give that a bit of a taste. But yeah, let's give it a go. That's very good for a freshwater fish. Normally a lot of people like eating the saltwater fish as they taste better, but this is very good. It kind of does taste like the catfish that I cooked a while ago. That's actually really good. All right, everyone, so there we go. We went and caught a bass off my kayak, cooked it up, brought it back home, showed you how to fillet it, cook it, and make this amazing curry. And yeah, take a look at that. That's actually so good. It's the best catch and cook, the best tasting catch and cook I've ever done. So if you like these big kind of recipes like this, make sure you leave a comment and I'll be sure to do more like this in the future. Make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure you turn on post notifications. It helps me be able to post more videos for you guys. So if you like weekly content, I'll be trying to get a video out every Friday. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram. My account's just Miller Wilson, as you can see up there. I post heaps of different photos and videos. So if you want to go check that out, that's my username. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you again on the next adventure.